Self-contracts, folks. They're challenging, especially when you've unionized yourself. See my CBA to make sure that I engage in the appropriate responding. Hold on, I need to confirm. <laughs> to be blunt, folks, this is my self-contract. <laughs> Why am I advertising for Cooper? I don't know. Cooper here and in Heward. Sorry, Timothy and William. I didn't mean to leave you out of the loop. Uh, no, self-contract, folks. It's just a deal with yourself. Not, a, not with the devil. It's a deal with yourself. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're going to make a contract about what you're... What, you're going to make a contract about your own behavior. I get really ha have a really hard time talking about these. They're really obvious. They really make sense. I'm going to do this. If so, then this. If not, then this. And blah, 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 blah. The trick with a self-contract is actually implementing the consequences that are associated with it. Delivering the reinforcers for appropriate behavior. Delivering punishers for inappropriate behavior. Wait till you try to punish yourself. Because it'll be really easy to avoid the punishment. Punishment. Why? You just don't have to do it. <laughs> which is called short-circuiting, which is probably another video, but I'm getting off topic. So self-contracts, it's part of self-management. They're really, really important. Make them public, for crying out loud, and then have other people help you implement the contingencies. But watch out. There's some damage. There's some, there's some danger in doing that. I'll let you find out what it is later. Bye.